Good morning. I am going to run you through the easiest pie crust you have ever heard of in your life. And this recipe is really great for using on a boat because on a boat you don't have room to have like frozen pie crust and who would want frozen pie crust anyway, but you do want to eat well. Same when you're camping, anything like that. So without any further ado, I'm going to run you through the basics of what you need. You need two cups of all purpose flour. You need a half cup of canola oil, quarter cup of water, and a teaspoon of salt. That's it. That is all you need. Well, okay, a couple other things. All right, you're also going to need a bowl to mix it in. I like these batter bowls. This one happens to be from Pampered Chef. It has a lid. This is just about the perfect size to mix it in. I use rubber spatulas constantly. I could not cook in a kitchen without them. Who can? This one's red because I use it also with tomato sauce. The other thing that you need, of course, is going to be a pie plate. And mine is looking kind of old and wonderful. I picked this up for under five dollars at a Goodwill. It's a Pampered Chef plate. It cleaned it really, really well. I do like picking up uh, glass items and items like this at Goodwill because it's kind of reduced, reuse, recycle. And then the other thing that you need, of course, is somewhere to roll out. Wow, got it. Somewhere to roll out your pie crust. And originally this recipe came from my mother and the original instructions were to use plastic wrap, two pieces of plastic wrap and roll out the pie crust between them. But I don't like using single use plastic. I don't like that at all. So I came up with an even better solution, which was to use my kid's help and I'll leave a link for these below. These are just regular storage bags that you use in the kitchen. You use them over and over and over so that you're not using single use plastic, but they're really kind of thick and they work fantastic for rolling out a pie crust. They are the right size. Once you roll it out, you hardly have to measure. And the other thing is because they're so thick, the problem with using single-use plastic wrap when you're rolling out a pie crust is then you have to transport it. These are so thick that it's easy to pick the crust up, flip it over, put it on the pie plate, and then work it off. And of course, I have a really old rolling pin and the other thing that I just got recently I saw these and had to have them immediately and this one is I've just finished washing it so it's drying uh, because the pie that was there got devoured these are from stream to sea and these are organic cotton covers I'll show you how wonderful these are you know how when you use plastic wrap oh gosh you should never use plastic wrap that's just bad stuff um, but when you use it to cover something in the fridge and then the item in the fridge gets all wet yucky ooh, yeah that so this is one of the covers from stream to sea fits perfectly on my pie plate pie plate is that what these are called pie dish pie plate fits perfectly and there are some other sizes as well so these are going to be useful for see it comes in a set of three useful for all different all different sizes originally for covering bowls i had these silicone multi-use little covers these are wonderful too these are absolutely i could not i could not live without these things anymore because this takes the place of all that plastic wrap that you were using these are great however the largest one in my set isn't big enough for my pie plate so when these arrived i was absolutely thrilled these came from stream to sale leave a link for them below with a little discount code this is just the kind of an eco-conscious way to cover things but anyway let me uh, now show you the steps in putting this together first what you're going to do is you're going to mix all of your ingredients together in your batter bowl once you mix all your ingredients and it's super super fast um, then you're going to put one of your really really thick bags down on your counter and I do have uh, this is I guess marble counters but the pie crust will stick if you just roll it out on the counter so I roll it out on the plastic I just put the big ball in between both and I will tell you that this recipe makes two crusts so you can either have two bottom crust only or you can do a bottom crust and a top crust but I have the ball after I've made it in the batter bowl half it and then roll it out between two of these and this is just the perfect size if you go all the way to the edges absolute perfect size and then I simply pull the top one off really easily and I can pick the second one up flip it over put it on the pie plate and that, that's it that's all there is to it this is the easiest pie crust that you have ever made in your life and the best thing about it is that you don't have to have a whole lot of ingredients a bowl a spatula if this is it I, you could probably mix it up with your hands if you didn't have a spatula roll it out if you don't have a rolling pin then you can use a bottle I know on a boat you probably might not have a rolling pin 
some of the boats I worked on did, but I worked on boats that had everything from diesel stove to fire, uh, yes, fire wood stoves that we baked on. So some boats do have rolling pins, but if you don't, you'll you'll find something that you can use. I'm positive of it. But this makes the flakiest, the most delicious crust. It is absolutely divine. So easy, and everyone's thinking, wow, but it's actually easier than going to a store and buying one besides who wants to buy a pie crust. Hope you give this a try. It is so easy. I'll leave the recipe below so that you also have it in writing. Oh, and I should show you my drawer before I let you go. I am just so proud of this drawer. This is where I put all my organized items. The really great thing was I had no idea that these big Kith Help bags were gonna be so wonderful for making these pie crusts until they actually started using them. And then I thought, I'm out of plastic wrap. I'm not gonna buy any more. What am I gonna use? I'm gonna use these. Of course, absolutely. These make storage out on a boat so much easier. Rather than using a hard plastic container that takes up a lot of space, these you can cram into little spots. Did I mention the salt? Just a teaspoon of salt, that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please like, share, subscribe, and I would like to see the results of your pie crust. It's so easy.